Hello everyone, this is Ms. Samra. So today we have our next lesson, which is 7-2. Uh, and 7-2 is about matrix algebra. Algebra. Okay, this is, I guess, kind of brand new topic for you guys. I don't know if you guys ever learned this before, but trust me, you, you guys are just going to love this topic. It's so simple, so easy, and so interesting, all right? So, first of all, let's learn about what it means by a matrix. When I say a matrix, that's kind of singular. And in terms of plural, it's called matrices. Okay, what is a matrix? Matrix is basically it just like kind of arrangement of numbers. So it's just like table values. Like you'll see numbers in brackets like this, and that would be equal to uppercase letters. So if I say this is matrix A, this is matrix A, which is equal to, I'm just going to put in random numbers. So let's say I have 3, 1, 4, and 2. This is matrix A, and in this matrix, you have these random numbers. And I would say it. this matrix is size 2 by 2. All right, this is something you need to understand. When I say size 2 by 2, so the first number represent, let me pick a different color. So the first re number represent number of rows in this arrangement, and second number represent number of columns in this one. And I hope you understand when I say rows, I'm looking at horizontal arrangement. So horizontally, I see two different rows here. And when it comes to columns, it means I'm looking at vertically, vertical arrangement. So vertical arrangement is also two, so the size would be two by two. So this is a matrix of size two by two. Let's just say, if I say matrix B of three by two. So it means I would see two big brackets like this and in this in these two brackets I would have three different rows with two columns and let me just put some random numbers let's say I have three negative one four five zero and negative two here you go and okay one thing I would like to explain over here basically matrix it's not kind of natural phenomena you would not see problems like in matrices already Basically, this is just a way to manipulate big equations. That's what you guys might be thinking. How come before we have system of equation, now all of a sudden we switch to something like this? So basically, matrix algebra is another way to solve system of equation. Let me just write that down for you guys. So matrix algebra is another way to solve system of equation system of equations so before we have done elimination we did substitution we did graphing we did with two by twos and we did it by three by threes as well right so matrix al algebra is just another way to solve those big equations. basically it's going to be the simplest way to solve those equations so we started off with dimensions. So I have rows and column. Keep in mind, first number always going to be for rows and second one always for columns. Okay, now the next vocab term you needed to know is called element. Okay, so the uppercase letter represent entire matrix like this. But let's say if it's the element, basically I'm talking about, I'm trying to, or I'm referencing to the numbers in a matrix. Let's say I have 3, 1, 4, 5, 0, 1. This matrix is of size 2 by 3 because I see two rows and three columns. Okay, if I ask you for any element of this matrix, so this is how we write it. So it would be A. This time, since it's the element, it's going to be a lowercase letter. So lowercase a with 3 and 1. Okay, I'm asking you for a number in this matrix, which is at this position. So again, first number represent the row, and second number represent the column. I'm asking you to identify the number, which is, oh, hold on, we don't have third row, so this cannot be, this would not work for this problem. So let me just make a different one. How about if I say 2 and 1? 
Okay, so it means I'm looking for a number in this matrix, in this matrix, which is uh, in second row, all right? So first in second row and first column. So this is the number at this position. So my answer would be five. Let's try another one. If I have uh, two and three, all right, so I'm looking for a number which is in second row. So first number is the row and second number is the column. So third column would be one. Here you go. So my answer would be one. Let's say one more just for your practice. If I say one and two. So again, I'm looking for first row and second column. So first row here and second column would be one. Here you go. So that's how we identify elements in a matrix. Next, a few more vocab terms. So next one is, it's called square matrix. I'll try to go over most of those introductory uh, concepts for matrix, matrices. So I have square matrix. So square matrix is when number of rows are equal to number of columns in a matrix. So two by two, three by three, four by four, and so far so forth that would be square matrix so two by two would look something like this three one four zero three by three would be three rows three column one two three zero one five negative one three and five here you go and i know some of you guys might get to think where i'm getting these numbers from i just made those numbers up so that give, i can show you an example on each different type right okay next one this is square matrix next one i have <laughs> It's called identity, identity matrix. Basically, identity matrix is just another way to represent one in terms of a matrix. How do we write one in a matrix? Okay, if it's uh, one thing you have to make sure in order to write identity matrix, that matrix has to be a square matrix. Has to be a square matrix like two by two or three three by three or four by or so forth if it's two by two the identity matrix would look something like this so the diagonal diagonal of this matrix which goes from left to right means this and this number has to be one and remaining numbers gonna be zero sorry excuse me Okay, this is how we write two by two identity matrix. Okay, same thing applies to three by three. So three by three, so the diagonal that goes from left to right, which is here, 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 and all elements of this diagonal would be one, and remaining numbers would be zero. That's identity three by three identity matrix so that's how we write identity matrices okay next one pretty simple stuff trust me you're just gonna love this how do we add and subtract matrices so let's say oh first thing in order to add or subtract you need you got to make sure both matrices has to be same dimension same dimension if you have different dimensions for those matrices, you can't add or subtract. Just say undefined or no solution. So pretend I have matrix A, two by two, I have three, one, four, five, and matrix B is five, six, zero, and negative three. All right, pretty simple. If I ask you to add Let's pick a different color. So let's take oh green this time. Okay. If I ask you to add A to matrix B, so literally it's just adding corresponding elements. So I would take the first number from matrix A, add it to first number in matrix B. Added makes eight. Okay. For the second number, this number added to this number becomes seven. Four added to zero is four. Five added to negative three is two. Here you go. That's the sum. But let's just say if I ask you other way around, if I ask you for, let's do subtraction, B minus A. This time you need to put matrix B first and then subtract matrix A. So it means I got to look at matrix B first. Okay, so 5 minus 3 would be, let me write that down, 5 minus 3, this would be 2. All right, for the next number, 6 minus 1 is 
5, then 0 minus 4, I'm just going to write down the numbers, negative 4, negative 3, minus 5 is negative 8. Here you go. So that's how we add or subtract. First thing you got to make sure those matrices has to be same size. If you do have it like that, just add, add or subtract corresponding elements and yeah, that's pretty much all. You're done. And the last concept for today's lesson is it's called scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication. Okay, how do we multiply a scalar to a matrix? So let's say I have a matrix A, 3 by 1, means 3 rows and 1 column. So let's say 5, negative 1, and 0. And my question to you guys is 3 times matrix A. So pretty simple. Basically, it's just literally multiplying every single element by this 3, which is this constant here. So 3 times matrix A would be 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 3 times 0 is this. Here you go. That's all. That's pretty much all. Basically, I try going over all basic concepts you needed to know to understand the entire process. So tomorrow we're going to have multiplication, big multiplication problems. And yeah, that's pretty much all. So thank you for watching. Enjoy and stay safe. Bye-bye, guys.